Hello everyone, welcome. This is Jebro and today again I'm going to be talking about an Overwolf app. And this app is pretty cool. I'm a PvPer mainly, um, but I play the game and I like skins. Yes, I am guilty, as many of you actually are yourselves. So do not, do not deny that you do not try to look good in Guild Wars 2. Even the highest level PvPers try to look good. Everyone does. If I'm talking about TCG, I'm talking about Orange Logo, I'm talking about the Abjured. All of these guys have nice armors. This is why this game is so popular, as well as also the, uh, you know, the general combat system and the fact that it's sick. Um, but basically, you know, wardrobe is part of Guild Wars 2. And I like to sometimes share looks and stuff. And actually, a good way of doing that is with this new app. Um, and it's not new, but it's kind of recent, I guess. Um, and it's just a wardrobe app inside the Overwolf. In the uh, description below, there's a link where you can see how to install it and to basically search for this um, these different apps. But this one is going to be called... Da -da 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 -da. Let's get some more apps. This one's called GW2 Style. So we can just quickly go back, actually. And you can go into the app store. So if you got Overwolf up, you have this little thing you can kind of hover over and it will come out to the side. Remember, I've, you've already installed it and you're at this stage. Um, and you just go to search and you type in Guild Wars 2. It's really loud and annoying. And then you click View All and you'll be able to go through all the different apps that are available. Now, this one is uh, it's in somewhere and I can't remember where it is. There it is. Um, and it's got five uh, stars or little faces or wolves or whatever you want to call it. So you take screenshots in game and instantly create a look page on gw2style.com, the community fan site dedicated to showcasing Tyrion fashion. So I actually, I've never gone there before much, but I've actually started having a look on it and it's actually quite cool because you can just put all the different armor looks on in as well as all the different dyes and really, really, really just get involved with this. But I'll show you as we move on. I'm going to exit that because I've actually installed it already. And what it gives you is it gives you this little, I guess it's just like a little upload icon. Um, where you can, you know, you can do different things. So you can ask for help. You can go straight to gwtstyle.com. So if I'm up a browser, you can see I've already gone on there actually, um, which takes you straight there. I've actually already uploaded something. As you can see, my steampunk Asura is already there. Um, and if you click on it, you can actually go through and you can add the dyes and all the gear and whatnot as well. I've not played with it much, so this is where you can have a look. But I can edit the look. That's just the main page of it. I'm already logged in. Um, and you can all, you know, add another image. You can change uh, info like the color, the heavy, but male, female, and what race and whatnot of, as well, obviously. Um, but it's pretty good. I mean, you can you know, update different things, but, you know, update is just updating the page you've currently got. But... It's pretty cool. I specify armor as well. I mean, you can really go full on with this. Look on the, all the dyes there as well. Um, I haven't tried. Oh god, okay. You can just click on each piece, and you can click on each bit and do it that way as well. That's amazing. I haven't played with this as much actually, to be honest. But anyway, that's the browser. We'll go back to how you in do this exactly. So, this is my character. I am pretty proud of this look. Uh, it's, you know, a different... It's got loads of different bits and pieces, you can see it. I'm not going to go through exactly what it is now. You know, I've even got the pack staff there. Um, I've turned the graphics onto full. Now, even if you don't can't take full graphics, like taking screenshots with full graphics on, you're not moving or anything. There's hardly anyone else there, you know, so you can probably have a static shot and it'll probably be perfectly fine, even if your machine isn't, like, amazing. And you're taking one screenshot. It's just a, you know, a flicker. It's, it's nothing. It's not going to... Mate, it's not going to wrench your machine if you're just standing there. But obviously, if your machine is very low end, then you will have problems. But um, you should be okay. So what you do is you just turn all your settings right up to max. You've got this app in your game, and it's just an overlay, you know. So you go to the side, like a like I said, you click it, and that will come up. So we've got to guildwarsstar.com, and then we've got submit look. That is log out. Now I am logged in. And I've created an account. So when you go to uh, the submit look page, 
And uh, also when you start the app up, it'll ask you, it'll give you instructions actually how to create an account and it will give you, you know, your password, everything. You don't have to even go on the website to do anything. You can automatically create an account and get to this stage. Now, when you are at this stage, you can create a look name. So, God, I don't even know what I'm going to call this. Um... Deaf man or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's call it. Uh, it looks a bit like something from He Man, doesn't he? Like one of those stormtrooper guys. You can call it like um, Ara Trooper or something. Ara Trooper, sorry. Uh, he's a human. He's a male, not female. Uh, the color, not really sure. I mean, generally is black, I guess, or silver. Silver, yeah. Um, mix of armor from Ara. Uh, uh, packed stuff, etc. Right, you can just write whatever look you want to have in there. Um, uh, whatever description you want, you can update it later, of course, as well as you saw. So, of course, now you have this screen. Now, the main image, you can take a picture right now as it is, and it will take it. That That is going to be the main image that people will see on the page. And then you can add additional images. So what I would do here, I mean, it's a bit of a pain in the ass that you can't minimize this to a degree. Um, maybe you can somewhere. But, I mean, if to be honest, all you need to do is really, uh, you can get rid of that as well. You can redo it. So what I'd do is I'll probably do like a point or something and then just take a screeny. There you go. It looks pretty cool. Okay, let's do another one. You don't want to obviously have the same, maybe, I don't know. Just do a bit of a different look, like straight on. There you go, you can see a bang. And then, I don't know, dancing. So, or you could do, you know, you could go into the camera actually. And you could use your camera and go vertical position, no, it's too horizontal, there you go, uh, let's do it the other way, because otherwise I can't see this damn thing, hi, welcome back, after a mini crash there, that was my system, um, and my internet connection apparently, but basically what happened was, I just took another screenshot just now as well, um, so as I showed you in the options, I moved my camera, my horizontal position to the side, and I just, to, I don't know, I mean, probably is part of a wardrobe thing you don't really need to do this but also i've got it set now um that oh hello Sarah. there you go so you can it just looks cool you know i just like it and also i kind of like the screenshot but um because it's more of a wardrobe thing you probably don't want to do this but i'm going to do it anyway um and i'm just going to point again which doesn't look amazing actually if i'm honest so let's change it let's change it to There you go. That just looks cool like that. Just to show a bit of a funky angle. So we'll take another screenshot there. And you can see we have the three screenshots. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just doing this for the video. <laughs> so don't try not to take my bad screenshot skills into um, into effect just with this. Uh, because my, my screenshot skills are just awesome, of course. Anyway, um, so that's done. So you can submit the look. And the little loading, like, little loading kind of bar just pops up. Takes a minute to upload. It's just uploading the information as well. But because you're already logged in, because you actually made an account, obviously, um, all that information has been put onto the site. So hopefully now that's not going to fail me. <laughs> and I'm going to go to Guild Wars 2 style. And there you can see the Ara Trooper is uploaded. And uh, you see the mix of Ara... The description is just put up there. If I click it, I can go straight onto it and I can see the screenshots that have been put up. So I can, how big can I blow these up? Oh, fully. And it looks pretty nice as well. Um, so we can go back, obviously. This is the Overwolf browser that opens it up in, so it's quite a good selling point, isn't it? Um, so yeah, you can see all the different screenshots that I have been made. People can comment. They can say what they want, I guess. Um, also, you can add, you can go into, you can put your, um, 
screenshot your character or your look into a competition, I believe, as well, which is pretty sweet. So all in all, it's it's a pretty nice site. It's a pretty nice app. It's just fun for something to do. Um, fashion is cool for cool or something. I don't know, adverts. Um, but yeah, you know, that's how these websites get funded and whatnot. But otherwise, I mean, that's a pretty good app. Let's just go back out of that browser. So... Really, this is the this is actually quite cool itself as well. It's got a very Guild Wars 2-esque look. You can then log out and you can also close the window and go back into the game. So it's as simple as that. The app basically takes a screenshot for you and then it uploads it to this to the website without you having to log into the website on the browser and actually, you know, uploading your screenshots from your documents or whatever. You can just do it all in game literally with this overlay. So it's pretty cool. Check it out. Um, I'll put the name of the actual app below in the description. Let me know what you think. If you reckon this is just if this is worth doing. If I, there's a app that I like. If you want to see it and just check it out then cool. I know a lot of PvPers might think what the hell are you doing Jeb? Um, but you know this is just my channel and I do videos on stuff that I like and I just like this I like making looks for Guild Wars 2 in my armor especially when I'm waiting for team queues uh, and solo queues because you know sometimes you haven't got much else to do guys so this has been Jebro thank you very much for joining me for just another look at another Overwolf app thank you and see you soon